here, I'm Risa, and I love sharing all things Disney. My husband Alex and I recently discovered the pure magic of a Disney cruise, so we hopped on another one. During the spookiest time of the year, join us as we sail away on a three-night bohemian Halloween on the high seas cruise on the Disney Magic. <laughs> Okay guys, we are showered, recharged, my hair is done, my makeup's done. I have a casual outfit on because we're going to head out for trick-or-treating. We're going to go to a few stops and try and fill up at least one bag and just check out the ambiance, the vibes, and see what's happening. And then we're going to come back, change, and get ready for the masquerade party and then dinner. So let's go trick or treating, guys. I'm so excited. We're ready. I got my Oogie Boogie hat. I decided to be a little festive. And Alex is already ready for pirate night. <laughs> So, very sad news. We thought it was at 6.30, but it was at 6, and it ends at 6.30. So we got there, and everybody already had gotten their candy, and was sitting down and enjoying their treats. But, good news, there's another trick-or-treating time at 8.15, but that puts us in a pickle because our dining is at 8.15. So we figured out a plan. The masquerade party is at 7.30 and the next trick-or-treating is at 8.15. So right after the masquerade party, we're going to haul it over to the trick-or-treating spot and be the first ones in line, hopefully, get our treats and then head over to dinner. So we're gonna go to the masquerade party all dressed up for dinner. So, this outfit was kind of a loss. I did take a picture in it actually, so not a total loss, but yeah, it's time to get ready for dinner now. So see you at the masquerade party. And on we went to deck nine for the masquerade party. So Disney Magic, let's go wild, let's go crazy, and let's give it up for the one, the only, Mickey Mouse! Hi everybody! Oh gosh, it looks like we made it! Talk about foolishly good timing! <laughs> and wow! A great job on all the costumes! As you can see, we got into the spirit of things too! So, what do you say? Although we stood behind the kids zone, once the dance started, everybody started pouring into the center of the kids zone. So Alex and I saw that as a green light to move forward and here we are pretty close to the stage.
Once the intro dance was complete, it turned into a dance party. Every character came out and showed off their moves. My favorite character dance was definitely Mickey. He just had so much swag. Uh, you need to not stay. You need to And for the finale, they reintroduced all of the characters for one final dance. We got Donald Duck, Bill the Hot Chick, and Daniel. We got Pluto, and we got Goofy. Did you magic one more time? Let's dance now. Then it was time for trick-or-treating. Fortunately, we got there soon enough to be some of the first in line, but this line went so far down into the family pool area. Trick-or-treating took place at Cabanas. It started at the entrance and ended at the exit. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. We were able to go one time through, but I was actually quite disappointed at the amount of candy they were handing out. At the first stop, they literally gave us one piece of candy. They gradually increased the amount they gave you at each stop, but even at the end of the whole thing, I had maybe a quarter of my bag filled up. Alrighty guys, I am in the restroom very quickly, taking a restroom break and heading over to our next stop, dinner. We are at Lumiere's tonight. We made it to the trick-or-treating. We'll give you a whole rundown on the mouse parade party and the trick-or-treating experience. But for now, we gotta head to dinner because we are running late. So see you there. Then we made our way to Lumiere's for dinner. This dinner hall is modeled after the dinner scene in Beauty and the Beast. It is a French theme and very upscale feeling. And if you pay attention to the details, you'll notice that the chandeliers have a glass encased rose. We of course started off with appetizers. I got the fried brie and escargot. Those are always delicious choices. I honestly do not remember what I got for my main entree. We were ordering and eating so fast because we did not want to miss the pirate parlay party, but I do remember this souffle. It was absolutely divine. Then it was time to head back up to deck nine for the pirate parlay party. For the pirate parlay party, we decided to stand on deck 10 port side in order to see the fireworks in the sky. The crowd danced away eagerly awaiting the beginning of the pirate show. No worries, mateys. It's me, your old pirate pal, Mickey Mouse. Our pirates in the Caribbean party is about to start. And I just wanted to tell you that no matter what happens tonight, I'm on your side. Oh, that is so good to know. Who's ready to party like a pirate? It's time to meet our pirate crew, Dizzy Magic. Let's give it up for Minnie Mouse. Hello. Hello, everybody. And raise those pirate hooks for it. Be pirate goofy. Oh, oh, it's dancing. Oh, it's dancing. 
Don't forget that pirate crew. Let's give it up for Chip and Tail. Oh, Are you ready for a party? Oh, we sure are. And we've been practicing all night long. Go everyone! After the introductory dance, each character took turns showing off their moves during the dance party. Starting off with Minnie Mouse herself. These are some of my favorite songs. Mine too, Minnie. What do you think we should do? took over the ship and made us all rock out like true pirates. Celebration really needs is a great book. And now you have one. Oh no! Captain Hook is coming to final countdown! And when we need some sick and admiring to really rock this ship, Captain Hook style comes! Hey, you know, Happy, do you know why Captain didn't do well in school? Why? He was always playing a Oh no! Happy look at our entire crew! What are we gonna do? 
We were told that Mickey usually comes down a zip line for this portion, but it was too windy this day, so they opted for him running down the stairs instead. Okay guys, we are back in the room finally after a long, long evening and we have our blanket art of the night. We always get this on pirate night and I have yet to 100% figure it out. Like I think it's an octopus, maybe a squid. I don't know. Let me show you the back and you guys tell me. Okay, there's the back, the side profile, there's the front. I don't know any guesses but we always get it on pirate night so we'll do a little wrap up and end the evening good evening guys we are finally back in our room after a very eventful evening the last i left you we were headed to lumiere's for our dinner and it was very delicious i got a few appetizers my main course was kind of meh it was another pasta. I need to stop getting pasta, so I'll make a better choice tomorrow. But 
Lumiere's was delicious. We ate pretty quickly tonight because we wanted to make it out on time to find a good spot for the pirate show. There was so much today. We had an excursion. We had trick-or-treating, the masquerade party, pirate night, dinner, just all the things. So if you ever come to a Halloween on the high seas Disney cruise, just know that they're going to pack a lot in if it's a short cruise. So we're here for three nights. So today they decided to put pirate night and all of the Halloween festivities all in one, which was pretty high stress in my opinion. But if you time everything right, um, you can probably manage it. I know it's harder with kids, but you pick and choose your battles and what you find the most important during your cruise. But we tried to do it all, and we did. We accomplished it all, and I feel like we had the most fun. We went and stopped by the trick-or-treating spot at Cabana's. You can go through as many times as you want, but the line was so long. So we only had time to go around one time because like I said earlier, we had an 8.15 dinner and the next trick-or-treating time was at 8.15. So luckily they started 10 minutes early. So we were able to go through Cabana's one time and make it to dinner right on time. So that was very lucky. And I think they're gonna do trick-or-treating again tomorrow. That's what somebody said at our dinner table tonight, but I'm not too sure. So make sure to verify that on your own and you make time for trick-or-treating if that's what you find important. So right after that, we headed to dinner and then we headed to the Pirate Night show. So we experienced Pirate Night, like a full-on Pirate Night for the very first time on the Disney Wish during the Very Merry Christmas Cruise. And that was just amazing. So, so jaw-droppingly amazing. It was like a full-on rock concert show with all the characters and Jack Sparrow. And this was fun. I will say it was fun. I did enjoy myself, but it is more like a dance party. So it's very heavy on the dance party. And then it's a very light storyline going on, but I did enjoy it. And then we had the fireworks on the seas right afterward, which is very typical for pirate night. You have the whole pirate show and then they point to the sky and then there is a fireworks spectacular in the sky. So that was a great way to end our evening tonight. And then we headed to the lobby, took some pictures by the pumpkin tree. And now we're back here and we're going to wind down and get ready for another eventful day tomorrow. Tomorrow we head to Castaway Key and I'm really hoping we have similar weather tomorrow minus the rainstorm in the morning. We're trying to make the most of our day tomorrow because we do have a mixology class quite early. So we want to get all of the Castaway Key activities done pretty early in the morning and early afternoon and be back on time for our mixology class and then of course we have dinner and I think we're gonna try and make the stage show we haven't been going to the stage shows because we've been here before we've seen the shows so yesterday was the tangled show which we skipped out on tonight was not a show they just showed scary movies all day or Halloween movies all day in the theater. And tomorrow is going to be the special stage show that they only show here on The Magic. So we really enjoyed that one last year or the last time we came. So we don't want to miss it tomorrow. So we will be going to our first stage show tomorrow and we can't wait to bring you along for all of the fun activities. So good night for now and we'll see you tomorrow for day three of our Halloween on the High Seas Disney Magic Cruise. Bye guys.